call the Village of Weston Board of Trustees meeting to order. If we could all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all very much. Uh, let's see. Roll call by clerk. Maloney. Here. Sagami. Here. Ronan will be coming late. Ermeling is excused. Hardinger. Here. Pensenault. Present. Wyland. Here. Thank you, Jamie. There she is. Uh, next thing. Thank, on, thank you, Jamie. Uh, next thing we have is uh, public comments. And uh, first one to fill this out, I believe the first three are somewhat similar, is uh, Greg Hoffman. Greg, if you could just, yeah, right there, if you want, you can yes. sit or stand and then just uh, state your name and Actually, just have a record. Enough time with five minutes if I wanted to say what I wanted to say. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, all right. So, yeah, five minutes is is kind okay. of what we have in order. Right. So, oh, go ahead. Sure. I mean, uh, Susan Partner, Dylan. Okay. In mid-October, Oak Castle Glass reactivated their hardening system case in the One quick second. So, Greg Hoffman, for the record, and 5203 Scott Street. Okay, Village of Weston. All right, go ahead. Okay, apparently there are three hardening systems in this plan. Prior to this approximately a year or more, minimal fan noise from there, as I assume they use a new compressed air system they had told me from a previous call. Um, Randy Thiel actually admitted in that call, he volunteered that we are really lucky, and they are very low. The three events facing solid measure approximately eight feet a piece square uh, with no muffling. This system creates vibration that penetrates every part of our homes. OCG used to put trailers in front of those vents for part of the year, always removing them in October. Uh, for the last 22 years, I had a call and get a trailer placed after a snow melt, being told by Randy Field and once the plant manager, we don't have to do anything. The hiding behind Weston zoning ordinance, 50.103 with 85 decibel limit. OCG no longer is even making any efforts to do their 24 7 news that um, noise pollution that started here in October. I recently became aware of Western Ordinance 50 50. 100 things prohibited. Uh, Subtitle 9 states all loud, discordant, and unnecessary noises or vibrations of any kind which tend to create or uh, cause or create a disturbance. OCG is causing the disturbance without a doubt. In uh, discussion with Aaron Anklum, um, I point out that they've been in violation for the last 25 years. Aaron was going to contact OCG, which I do not believe happened. OCG has been operating 24 seven a week with very little downtime. All of us need that quiet time, as you know, as an imperative for good health. Many times we hear fan vibration in our homes. Watching TV with a fan going doesn't always ground it out. Our furnace doesn't always ground it out. We can sell them, just read, do fort finds, et cetera. Just enjoy the quiet. There is none. There's no joy in our season right now, I'll tell you that. For years, our windows were are seldom open because of OCG no noise. Conferring with neighbors, the vestments are south of actually of my, my home there at the side, south of Sternberg. The Mullins, the Borgenines, and it's, uh, along with others, it is common to keep our windows closed for years due to noise. Obviously, this affects the peace out in our yards. This is having an adverse health effects. My wife and I are now have ringing in our ears. After eight weeks of prolonged exposure, we've become so hypersensitive that we can hear in any room in our house, we can hear that fan start up. A friend of mine is over there and he says, do you guys hardly hear anything? Or we're that sensitive from this being plugged in our ears 24 7, basically. Anyway, um, I ended up, um, let's see, where am I here? Uh, and we tried to, uh, oh, my heart started throbbing uncontrollably due to a whole lot of lack of sleep on 3 a.m. on 12 7 23. Friend took me to the ER and had perfect blood pressure my entire life, 196 over 101. So this has become very serious. Personally, this, um, like I say, they're very serious. I now use anxiety and sleep medications to try to cope with the noise. This is a moral and unethical blasting noise pollution 24 7 into our neighborhood and very unhealthy for residents and developing children. All we have requested of old CDs are a noise absorbing buffer wall sufficient to contain the noise, their noise. This may be built in house with good research and structural implementation. 
We are requesting Weston officials to enlighten Old Castle Glass of Weston Ordinance 50.100, things prohibitive, subtitle nine, and a request for a permanent buffer wall uh, as trailers have always disappeared. If Old Castle Glass continues to ignore this issue, then I hope Weston officials will proceed with enforcement of Weston Ordinance 50.100. Things prohibited, specifically number nine. Doing everything necessary once again to bring peace and safety to our neighborhood. Absurd as this sounds, this is actually our reality. If you guys want to come over and spend a, a couple weeks at my house, you'll find out this is true. Um, we are in retirement. We need, we're thinking about leaving our home. There ain't nothing to buy. This is serious crap. Please put yourself in our, in our shoes and people behind me there with me on this year. Uh, I apologize for being tiny and loud, that's who I am. Uh, but this is a serious session, very serious. Uh, there's, um, Susan will share, if you will, the, the health effects that uh, other health, negative health effects that can come from this, and they're very real. As I said, my wife and I already are super hypersensitive sound. You pick it out in any room, I pick it out in a when this thing stops. I can pick it out the car room anywhere else. I think I'm nuts. I thought when I started this, I thought, gee, I can do this. I'll get to what? Eight weeks later, you can't do it. My wife's in tears almost constantly. This is our this is our joy for the holiday. Please give this some real super consideration. This company can build this wall, and we need it to get done soon. State statute says decibel limits over 52 um, interior. And certainly in the summer, if we open our windows, we'll be there. Um, requires a buffer wall. Greg, are you, so you're at 5203, Scott. Are yes. you south of? Okay. I am between uh, one, there's a duplex on the corner. And I said, Bestemans, Helen Bestemans talked to her. She's south of Sternberg. And she hasn't been open the real windows for years. Susan and David can uh, open their windows. It's too loud. They even got noises in their homes. So you're you're south. Here Al has it. He has children. Okay. He's raising children here. This is okay. stuff that will affect their, their belt. This mm -hmm. is serious stuff. This company can't keep walking on us like this. Okay. I uh, thank you. Otherwise, I'm going to ask the village to buy my home. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Mm -hmm. I'll move today. I'll move today. Yep. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Um, I've got one here from Scott Brody. Scott, you want to I, I live on 5106 Sternberg Avenue. Yep. So I'm to the north. Mm -hmm. and I do hear it as well. I'm out on the road and I feel that occasion. You know, but when I'm home, you can hear it. It wasn't so bad, but again, I didn't was not aware of what changed, but they do run through the night. And my bedroom is also to the south side, and it does disturb the sleep. So mm -hmm. it's something has changed over there. I'm glad the business is going well, but I do feel also that uh, steps could be taken by them to reduce the noise that's emitted. Okay. Thank you, Scott. Um, I, I am normally the board doesn't speak at all. We just listen to public comments because it's not agenda. Um, but I, I'm going to have something to say at the end of this. So the next one I have after Scott, thank you, is uh, Susan, I think, right? If okay. you want to talk. Yep. That we can, uh, mm -hmm. Greg wanted me to... First so just for the record, 5107 oh, Linda so Street. Street. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm south of the Old mm -hmm. Castle. Mm -hmm. um, Greg just wanted to uh, have the good history of this time. Um, Harvard, the um, Harvard Medical... Um, Institute magazine that he took this out of. The researchers and clinicians are trying to change this, the sound. They're showing the noise population not only drives hearing loss, tinnitus, and hypersensitivity to sound, but can cause and exasperate cardiovascular diseases, type 2 diabetics, sleep disorders, stress, mental health, and cognitive problems, including memory impairment, attention deficit, childhood learning delays and low birth weight. Scientists are investigating other possibilities that link, including dementia. Now that is from the um, Harvard Medication uh, no, Medicine uh, Journal. But I, I can talk from myself. I'm now recently retired and enjoying the fact that I can enjoy my home and regretfully 
it's not all the time that I can do that because of the sounds. The sounds are really sort of disturbing. I do, um, if, if I may, I took some video and listening. I don't know if you would like to hear what we hear every day. Um, at night, we'll hear a like glass being broken and dumpsters being dumped. Um, and this could be like the other morning was 323. You know, so, um, and the windows are closed. That happens frequently. Now, a couple of years ago, I took it upon myself to go down to the El Castle and, and there was a very kind gentleman that, that did do something about it. He put some eyes. As soon as I said that this has been an irritation and please neighborly, I'm asking for, you know, I'm happy that you guys are here. You're doing wonderful things for our community to have employment. But again, like what Greg said, you know, why the, the, the opportunity to have a quiet home is our right, isn't it? And we should not have to be listening to all of this and the loud sounds that perpetrate right into our homes with all the windows closed. So um, I do have some listening for you if you would like. I don't know if you can hear from, but I'm on the south side of the house. So let's see if I can get this tuned on. Voice. I should have had this. I'm sorry. This is a passport phone. I live at 5107 Linda Street. And I just would like to let you listen to the noise that we hear daily at our home. And this is a side of the house, inside the house. Do you mind bringing that up here? And now I'm going oh, to okay. so you can yeah. hear what you hear when we're outside or sitting on our deck. But that yeah. noise sometimes also is as loud in the house. So as you can hear, I'm in the house. <laughs> My window is open. <laughs> But we will hear this in the day and even in the evening, which is really quite irritating. Mm -hmm. So it would be greatly appreciated if you yeah. could address this issue, because it is rather frustrating. <clears throat> and uh, okay. so uh, how close do you live to Mark and Laura um, McFly? I'm Linda, or you maybe don't know them. Yeah. No? Okay. No. No. All right. We're like, um, it's the uh, second Stella. house off from Carl Stella. Okay. All right. I know what it is. Because uh, Mark Mark works with me and, and hears this. Uh, he's been here a long, long time. So I, I why I'm going to speak here is because I have brought this to this board. I have brought this to staff. And I live, um, come down Mester Street, uh, Ross Avenue, go down Leduc go across the river and I'm on the other side of the river. And what I, what I hear sometimes in the summertime and, and it wakes me up is a, um, all I can describe it is as huge bins of glass yes. being dumped out. And I mean, it, it goes on for quite a while. I mean, yes. it goes on for at least minutes, but, but that at least I can feel like, okay, that's going to end. But then comes this, um, uh, it, and I can only describe it as a steam um, like an emitter of steam. It's just like this incredible loud pressure steam that starts. It, it's extremely loud and that'll go down to almost nothing after 45 minutes to an hour. And I actually, I, I can't believe it. And I brought it up here many times and, you know, I, and I don't know if the police department has checked, but I'm going to tell you right now, um, what I've heard over the years and I've been in there since I've been in this house since 06. I don't hear it, I'm sure, not nearly as much as you do. Um, I do hear it with the windows shut, but if we try to sleep with the windows open, it, it wakes us right up. It, it actually scares me, and I, I'm kind of close to the window. So I know, I don't know what that venting is. I don't know if they're releasing pressure. I heard one time that they had until 8 o'clock to be done with all the noise, but this, what I hear, is always, always at night. Oh, so oh, I think, I think I we need to... All night. That, that's so what, the key, as you just brought yeah. up. 
is we have a reasonable expectation from 10 at night till six in the morning or even 5 a.m. Well, I think construction is done at eight. I think no, construction- 10 to six. Oh, 10 to six? Yep. I, I actually thought and it was then, eight. Okay. You can understand that during right. normal business hours, even second shift. Mm -hmm. But something has changed because it is now through that 10 p.m. till right. 6 a.m. Yeah. It's constant. Whether they added a third shift, I, I'm not sure, but we're going to have to check into this. So you're saying that if, uh, Susan, I think you brought up the semis. So if they line some semis up, it deadens it, but you can still hear it? It does. Yeah. yeah. I'll just still hear it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it just doesn't travel. Okay. Yeah, the semis, this yeah. side, that's going down about this far from yeah. the ground, so we're going to block the boat. Two flares were off. Right. There was the yeah. trees that were all along that that don't yeah. go away. It was also leveled. Yeah. There was about a two week period where they lined trailers up on a you know, like parallel parking on an angle parking, and we actually could not hear them um, uh -huh. because you have one trailer outside the other wheels are here, the wheels are here, the wheels are here. So you had a solid wall basically. Yeah. It was quiet. Uh -huh. This is possible to. Tone this way down. It's like what they're doing with, they have to make the effort to with highways and walls and trails in place. They lost the yeah. So okay. we very yeah. insistent about a, yeah. a barrier wall that's permanent, you know, and, and right. suitable size. So we're, we're not asking about this. We're not asking us to go to the moon to pick this up. Yeah. Okay. But this is in our house. Mary and I, before the meeting here, we had the fan on. We could hear it running yeah. in our house. Yeah. I mean, and three to four o'clock, I came home and went for a walk. She had the fan on the second highest, but she was going around. I'm trying to dead it. So I got told that this is affecting our senses. Right. It's already altered our nervous system. Yeah. When you leave the spot, and I would have not believed anywhere you believe yeah. how eight weeks ago, what happened yeah. eight weeks ago. This is what it's doing to us. So okay. are you seeing eight weeks ago? It's, it, it, it started in October. It more. started back up. Okay. It's been four years. Yeah, but, but I've heard it. I've heard it for years. years. Oh yeah. yeah. Correct. At, at the previous year before October, I'm guessing a year. Okay. It's pretty quiet. They put that compressed air system in there. Randy Field told me I can put in. Yeah. But now they apparently picked up some new business or using the old heartbeat system, but they don't give a damn whether whether who they're hurting. Yeah. Actually, a, a gentleman named uh, Chet Holtz, I uh, have to run. He used to walk by my house four times a day. He just lives at 5511 Scott. So he walks to the office in the morning, right? And we'll have to lunch. He goes home for lunch for an hour. He, like, one, he's back. See him all the time. A couple months ago, right about the time this happened, he quit coming through. And uh, mentioned the L factor. Well, I happen to be going down Lynn today, and he's walking down. He realizes it's me. Cut over to the other side of the road. So what's that about? He knew exactly what, you know, that you can have a conversation yeah. about this. Okay. There's a there's well, a right. thing. Um, um, yeah. But, but, I'm Pardon me for being so excited. Yeah. Right. No, that's fine. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The noise, the noise, the noise the also continues throughout the week. Yeah. Yes. Seven days a week. Okay. So now. Yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna follow up on it and uh, wherever it needs to go to to you know to inspectors or to the police or we're gonna have to take a look at this, look at our ordinances and and we'll 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 be on it. You can I guarantee is it. Is there is if I may, is there anything we as a group can do to assist or bring in, or what what do you need? I like hearing that you'll investigate it. Well, I think I think right now you file a formal complaint on Evolve. They already did. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? They did, and yeah. we sent a message to them. They got a violation letter in on the first of December. Um, oh, yeah. They have yeah. talked. Yes, Aaron followed up after you yeah. came in. Yeah, told me you couldn't see me. Call that great. Well, we always follow up, but they're I, right now they're not meeting the way the ordinance is written. So right. he talked to them. Um, Travis was there. It's listed as in compliance right now. Um, some of my suggestion is is if they're doing this stuff in the middle of the night. I've always been told by the police department, and the captain can comment. You can't cite unless somebody is actually seeing the violation or hearing it when it comes to a noise <laughs> ordinance. So if it's bothering you in the middle of the night, you have to take and call the emergency or non-emergency line or I have emergency that line. line. And I was read the first ordinance, the 50-103 uh, with the 85 decibels that were put in place 25 years ago. So we basically have the end tonight. We can't even call the police because it never gets up there. This is not about decibels as much as about vibration. 
and entering our homes. It's in our homes. That's the but right now that's there. the only ordinance that we have. So no, unless no. there's a direction to change it to somebody, that's the only thing that we yeah. can enforce. So we don't and have so 50, that's why we don't have a 50 dash one hundred. Well, I some of those are kind of hard to I, 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 what, I, what I'm going to say it, and what I'll promise is that we are going to jump into this and if changes have to be made to our ordinances, we will. And we'll have people there, we'll measure, we'll, we'll listen to what you're hearing. This change is constantly happening. It, it doesn't matter. It's, it doesn't matter. It's, it's right inside a huge neighborhood. And uh, you know what? I mean, there's a ton of residents right there. And they've got to abide, you know, by having some quiet time and, and whatever. I mean, they have to. So there's got to be other ways. And, you know, the other ways are going to cost more for them to do business. But you don't just get to dump stuff and make all kinds of noise willy-nilly. You just don't get to do that or let off steam. I, I don't know what it is. But what I heard, I heard. And it was very reckless. You, you so, have heard correctly. Yep. Again, yes. It has really... It has really been and I'm a ways away. I, I'm quite a ways away. That's the so, yep. it's, it's never been long. I'm way to the north. Never, so never we, been we'll, we, we gotta let staff jump in on this yeah. and, and look at this. If it does involve uh, uh, Captain Hancock that's here, if we've gotta have some officers get over there and look at it at certain times at night, we'll certainly do that. Is there a way you can document the times, like when this is happening? Does it Fluctuate or last Sunday. Last Sunday was at 323 yeah. a.m. So just keep a log of what happens and when. The fan noise today was from about three to that's, four. That's a good yeah. suggestion yeah. about log. Yep. So just keep a log. No. That way you've got data and we can bounce it off of, of whichever. Um, yeah. yep. it, it, now it's formally. Yeah. As I said, when the eagle fired us, we'll put we'll the place to basically tie our hands. We couldn't call the police. Well, that, and that might not be the right number. You know, I mean, if 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 it's if it's unlivable, then we got to change it. It's more than one person. Yes, we got it. Thank you all. I was on that voice It's only you complaining. Well, very true. Well, that's kind of how I felt a couple times when I brought it up. We can't hear anything. Well, I'm telling you, I heard. Should we turn the logs in when we do develop them? Who's the best contact? Oh, I'll take them. Jennifer can take them. Uh, the clerk can take them. It, uh, actually, you know what? Uh, Pam Bram, our clerk. Okay, Let's you. go to the clerk's office. And um, yep, is that okay, Pam? Mm -hmm. Yep, thank that, you. That you mentioned there. the um, police department. Is that something you want us to do? I think it's going to, they may go there at night uh, to get a body there. Okay. Yep. So we would we're, help to have a log. We're, and, we're and 24 7. And and if that's uh, always the time, we might have our EMP there or yep. something. Yeah. If something's going on, like how you said, at 323 on the last break, yeah. it's got to be measured. Yeah, absolutely. It has to be. Yep. All dispatch, um, because that gives us the date and time stamp that you're looking for. Um, and if we're not involved in something, it's a quality of life issue, is, which is what the police department's about. We will send an officer out. They'll have a body camera, and they'll be able to take notes that can be entered into our, our computer system, which, again, is date and time stamped. And then that can all be forwarded over to the village. Um, Thank you again. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Good. All right. Let's see here. Um, all right. That's on OCG. I've got one here from uh, Susie. Uh, Stillwater Landing. Did you want to talk later, Susie? I would love to talk when it's on the agenda. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Perfect. Thank you. I'll let the record show that Steve Cronin has arrived. How was your uh, daughter? Oh, fantastic. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. All right, now moving on. Let's see. Public hearing number four, open public hearing, uh, intent to discontinue public right of way uh, on a portion of Dominica Street, Dominica Street, uh, pursuant to Wisconsin Stat 66.1003, parent four. Open public hearing. Uh, let's see. Public and staff comments. So back in October, uh, we brought this forth to you. Uh, you adopted the resolution to set basically this in motion this evening. Um, notices were sent to the three affected property owners. Um, they all signed for them, certified mail. Um, as of this morning, there were no objections filed with the clerk. Um, and so basically would be vacating 16 feet 
of Dominica Street. That would be going to the property owner, uh, Joe Mazanuski and his right. wife, Laura. Right. And um, you would do that through by ordering the discontinuance. The entire length, right? Yeah, okay. go, yep. there's a map in there okay. that shows. Mm -hmm. So it's basically 16 feet. Um, that would give him mm -hmm. the proper setback to his home. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody know? No, no. It, it's listed as public. Did Joe, did we you vote on this once? Yeah, we already voted on it. Yep. I mean, and Joel's in the audience. Uh, did you want to say anything to her or no? Mm -hmm. um, I, all I have is just a couple of questions, okay. possibly, is after this resolution is passed, um, as I understand, you will probably file with the register of deeds. There's two. Whatever has to happen with that. Yep. Yeah, that there's deal. two documents. There's a Liz pendants and an order for discontinuance that get filed at the register of deeds. And so then it will be attached to your property. So change your property description. Yep. So the property description will have an out lot? No. No, or it'll just change the description to include that yep. 16 feet. Yep. Okay. And mm -hmm. then will, will I get some sort of documentation that um, I now have a conforming structure that is within the village guidelines for setback and it's all legal and everything we can write you a verification letter yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. that would be great you know whatever your bank needs or whatever you need for future yep for yeah. future yep or we them and we sell it or whatever yep. people are you know someone's going to want to know mm -hmm. for sure that it's yeah, it's, it can all be yep that uh, usually yeah. at the time that you sell it, there's a special assessment letter that comes through, and that all gets verified then too. Then too. Mm -hmm. But if I could have something after this passes, mm -hmm. that'd be good. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Thanks, Joel. Okay. And then after yeah. a little bit, will I then get a new lot or anything or Paper, or it just it just gets changed to a bigger lot now, and then that's just if someone needs to see that it's just on record. So they'll change the map on the county's land record system, so you'll see that out there. Okay, so I can just probably pull it. Yeah. And I can provide. I was going to say, I get the we, documents back. Yeah. I can provide them. I just don't know yeah. how long that'll be. Okay. Um, it's usually about a month to get them back from the county. Okay. So as yeah. soon as I get them back, that'll have the recording stamps on there. Okay. That's what you want. We can email them to you yeah. so you have them. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you, Joel. Yep. With nothing else, um, close the public hearing. Action on a hearing. It's <clears throat> a pleasure. Motion to approve the discontinuance of a portion of Dominica Street right of way and direct staff to file the Liz Pendens in order of discontinuance at the Marathon County Register of Deeds. Motion by Cronin. Second. Uh, second by Hardinger. Any more in the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Thank you, Jamie. So carried. Minutes from previous meeting, uh, seven. Approval of 11 20 2023 Board of Trustees meeting. Move to approve. Move to approve by Zagami. Second. Second by Harniger. Um, all uh, anything else to be discussed? Yes. Uh, yes. Go ahead. I have one correction. Um, I just want to add that uh, President Maloney proudly accepted the chicken tree copper. Um, that was missed on a trustee remark. Yep. I, I proudly accepted the chicken tree topper. Thank you. With a uh, little uh, sequins on it. Yep. A lot of sequins. A lot of sequins. Lot of sequins. Those out, by the way. A lot of them. <laughs> Okay, with that correction so noted, uh, hearing no more uh, discussion, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, so aye. carried. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, acknowledge reports from the minutes from boards, committees, commissions. Um, let's see, what's Motion your pleasure? to acknowledge items number eight, 12, 15, 16, 17, and 18. By Cronin. Second. Second by Tinfinol. Anything on the discussion? Uh, all those in favor to acknowledge? Yeah. Aye. 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 So carried. 
Reports from departments, uh, 20, Administrator Gamer. <clears throat> the report was in the packet. Happy to answer any questions. Been reaching out as things have been developing just so I can try and keep the trustees in the loop. Any uh, tough, hard, demanding questions for our new administrator? Hearing none. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, let's see. Uh, do we do each one or do we all at the end? Right. Each one we do? Yeah. Okay. Um, so motion to approve? Oh, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Why, I why you you went through every single before. time I get these two no. subsections set, screwed up. All right. And you guys, like, you have help, fun with me. All right. So 21, anything for the clerk? Pam, yeah. anything to add? No. Nothing to add? Any questions? All right. Thank you all. 22, finance. Um, tax bills are in the mail. Oh, in the mail. Like right now, today? This morning. So yeah. Yeah. hopefully tomorrow people will get them in their mailbox. If you are impatient, we do have the tax bills here so you can come pay. Yay. So are, <laughs> are our taxes going up, I wonder? Our taxes are going down. Down? No way. You're kidding me. A dollar yeah. ten a thousand? Really? Interesting. Close to that? Okay. Wow. Okay. I, I might not get a phone call. This is awesome. So... Thank you, uh, Jessica. 23, Chief Finky. Uh, just a couple extra things other than my report. Um, we did interviews last Thursday, I think it was. Um, we had four open positions. We actually had 10 applicants, which I was very happy with. Um, had some very solid ones in there. We did make four job offers, two internal employees and two external employees. We had, like I said, a total of 10. Five of those were internal, five were external. Um, so we hired two of each. Um, we're in the process of uh, psychological and uh, physical examinations on those individuals that will happen over the next probably three to four weeks with the holidays mixed in here. Um, so we are working through that. Um, we got four really solid candidates. I'm actually pretty happy with what we had to work with. Um, significantly better than we've had over the past couple of years. Um, so that is moving forward. Um, hopefully they will be in their training in February. Um, it's a little bit of a different training we're going to do with these folks because they're all full-time. Um, so I am working with uh, Shane Heilman from NTC, and we are going to try to get up to the NTC Merrill campus where they have all of their props, and we're going to work with them three or four days up there to do some additional training. Um, Shane said that shouldn't be a problem. I'm actually meeting with him next week. So, um, And then the second thing is, our, just so everybody's aware, our crews are out on a fire right now. Um, we have been since middle of this afternoon on a fairly difficult structure fire in uh, the town of Weston on Town Line Road. So um, avoid that area okay. for a little bit. Thank you, Chief. Uh, Park and Rec, Sean? Um, I did have a report in the packet uh, if anybody has any questions. Any questions for Sean? Thank you. Uh, 25, Plan and Development. Jen? I have nothing further to add unless someone has questions. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Anybody? Uh, 26, please, Captain Hancock. <clears throat> so I'm still kind of new to this. So I'm assuming you all got a packet put together yes, by somebody. Um, <laughs> if it's the statistics that I have in front of me, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me. One thing I'd like to point out um, on that is there's a lot of uh, narcotic activity that's taking place in the village. And just so you know, the majority of, of those for this past month are THC kind of vape things from the high school. So there's it's not like this exploding narcotic problem for the village in general, it's enforcement of vaping at the school. Um, we also have um, two new recruits that graduated from, or they're graduating tomorrow um, from the academy and their first day on the road will be Christmas. Um, these two guys are just stellar, stellar guys. They're gonna, they're gonna be with us for a long time. They're very young. Um, really, really young, but that's really good for us, um, quality people. We've been interviewing people for a couple more open positions and that's going going well. Um, we have strong candidates for that also. And we are, despite everything that's kind of going on, the department, um, our service to the community in this kind of a changing time um, isn't wavering at all. Um, I, I'm in contact with all of our all of our guys and the commitment to service to the to the village to the community. It's it's never been stronger, and uh, we're moving forward. And 
excited for assistance and help with that in leadership roles. And um, any other, any questions? Oh, good to hear. Thanks, Jeff. Um, anything for Captain? Hello? Nope. Good Thank job. You. Thank you very much. Uh, Public Works, Michael. Anything for Michael? Yeah, yeah. Report and packet? Question. Yeah, I'm new. I don't know where I'm supposed to fit in. I think it's public works. Yep. Just moved in a month. I have a question about low water pressure uh, in my dwelling. Okay. Do I come and talk to you about that? Uh, is there flow restrictors? Or is it, it's it going below 20 psi. Uh, where at? Uh, 7501. Brian and Amy drive. Okay. Right by okay. Yeah, we got utility operators. Uh, you know, Michael can yeah. hold that down. You can, you know, tomorrow if you want to give a call in, we'll get a utility yeah, operator. Card or something here. Yes, I can grab one. Yep. Yep. I can grab one. Yep. Grab one. Yeah. If you want, give us a call in the morning. Yeah. yeah. That that doesn't sound right over there. Yeah. We can get that. We we'll get that checked out. You are Michael. Yep. Yep, Michael. Mm -hmm. Michael Majewski is my name. All right. Cool. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Uh, anything more for Michael? No. Either one? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, technology. Nate. Anything for Nate? You got get something to pack it? Any more to add? Nate. Okay. Anything for Michael? Uh, excuse me, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> I have one quick question. Yeah. Uh, where, I, and maybe I missed it. Are are is, are the security cameras at the parks up and running? Or where are we at with that? They are up and running. Yep. They are. Oh, and everybody's been trained on them, so we're good to go there. I'm creating a VPN for the. Uh, EMPD over the winter here. Okay. Okay. No, not a lot going on there right now. So that was on my to-do list for the winter. Okay. okay. We we also had a, a meeting with some of the officers, actually quite a few of the officers in the training room uh, two weeks ago. Uh -huh. And uh, talking to uh, Greg Shrimp, it, wouldn't it be a good idea to have the cars have a FOP? You know, does the fire department have access to this building? And it should. Well, actually, yes, because I could get them with the Knox box. I'm sorry. You have a Knox box. Okay. It has a key for the building inside of it. So if I had to, I could get it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And and I, I just don't know. I mean, I was talking to some of the officers and we've got fobs and keys to get into other buildings, other businesses. And, um, you know, if we had to check something out, I mean, uh, I, I think that would be the appropriate. So just, I told Greg to contact you or maybe Captain could talk to you or you guys could work something out. Yeah, we can talk about that at our, at our department. Sounds, we can good. Sounds good. Um, all right, nothing there more. Uh, 29. Valerie, are you on? I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Were you on the speaker before? Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, you got to, you know, I mean, I feel really silly here, my heavens. So Valerie is on, so thank you. <laughs> She's got a report re uh, refuse and recycling anymore for Valerie. Or anything you want to add, Valerie? Yep, I might just put my glasses back on. That might help. So, all right, thank you. All right, uh, work product transmittals, 30. Acknowledge November building permits. Move to acknowledge 30 and 31. Thank you. Uh, motion by Pintanel. Second. Second by Cronin. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Consent agenda. With your pleasure. 33 and 34. Okay, by Pintanel. Second by Hardinger. Any more in the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Ordinances number 36, ordinance 23-022, an ordinance uh, renumbering section 30.106 municipal board of absentee ballot canvassers to section 30.107 and creating a new section 30.106 entitled split shifts for election officials. Move to approve as presented by Pinsonal. Second. Second by Cronin. Any more in the discussion? Yes. Thank you for adding the uh, clerk can deviate from those shifts. I think it's an extremely important part because the day changes, right? So mm -hmm. whatever that looks like, very good foresight. Good. Well, that was a happy one. That's good. Uh, any more in discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. So, yeah. Thank you, Jamie. Resolution 37, resolution 2023-025, resolution to create ward number 10 for voting purposes after the annexation of land from the town of Weston. Moved. Move to approve by Zagami. Second. Second by Cronin. Any more on the 
on the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. So carried. Unfinished business, 38, update and possible action on American Rescue Plans, ARPA funds. That's a placeholder in our agenda, just to remind us to talk about it. If there is any discussion or any questions on the funds, which is a million six left. I will be bringing an update at your end. We, I got to go through and make sure everything that was approved to be used with ARPA funds is correctly categorized. So I'll be going through and I'll be bringing a, the spreadsheet back to give the final number of what, where we're at. Okay, those have to be those have to be for by the end of next year. Correct. Accounted for or committed? Uh, yes. Committed. They have to be committed by the end of next year. Right? Yes. Yep. And spent by 2026. <laughs> 26. So it's, we just don't want to lose touch of that. Okay. Uh, 39, update on goals for 2023-2025 strategic plan. Anything on that? The directors have been adding that to all of their reports. Um, okay. There are pieces of the strategic plan, and we're talking about it as, as the directors too. So we will have a, a deliverable on that also. Deliverable. That was it. Steve, that was deliverable. Mm -hmm. That's a new word for our vocabulary uh, brought to us by our new administrator. All right. Deliverable. Can I remember that? Okay. So thank you for that update. Uh, 40. Update on Stillwater Landing Manufactured Home Park. A. Discussion and action on deadline for proposed private street reconstruction in the park. Jen, yours or Travis? Um, well, as far as the reconstruction of the street, I think a big part of that has to do with Michael and his. Uh, Michael with the underground. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess if we, uh, you know, I guess our plan is to replace the water main that runs that whole length essentially from East Jelnick to Schofield Ave. So, um, I guess I figure, best case scenario, we could get that started probably right away in May. Um, it'll probably take the whole month. Um, so. That'd give them, I guess, the beginning of June to get started on their street work. Okay. So uh, just refresh me again. So from Alderson to where? Uh, East Jelnick. East Jelnick to where? The Schofield Ave. So we have a water main that runs along, okay. basically right down their main road yep. there. Okay. That's one of the asbestos line ones. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then what about anything going east? Nothing? In, in further into their park. That's all them? That's all private. Okay. Yep. So you're, we're responsible from coming off of Schofield Avenue. To the end, okay. All right, yep. So that would take care of that part. And then they're also asking or uh, saying that they're going to go down the first left road about three quarters away, correct? And then a little bit on the on the last to the south road, too. Maybe yeah, I think they're going to the corner and then heading down that first road, okay? So our work for sure is on the entrance, right? Mm -hmm. Because I guess when I had seen that it wasn't going to be a full reconstruction or a full road. I kind of thought we should do the back corner first, creating the sense of urgency to do the front so that the whole thing gets done. So, I mean, that's what's been talked about for the last two, well, two and a half years. Why are we not doing the whole thing? Um, what I saw in emails from ownership was um, uh, price, costs, um, and all that. So, this was supposed to have been phased in for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. Well, the last three or four that I've seen. Yeah. Whichever, right? Yeah. So if, if you do phase one, we're starting at seven years late, mm -hmm. or four years late. Mm -hmm. Phase yeah. three should already be done by now. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, who's, who's, uh, whose responsibility is paving that if we're replacing the main? Are we responsible for that, or are you going to do that conjunction with them? And so that... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to work with uh, Attorney Yeedy on um, getting that agreement in place so we don't dig up the road and all of a sudden they go, oh, okay, now you need to repave it because you dug it up. In, you know, in, in a general sense, if we had a main break and we dug up our portion, we, we'd be responsible for repaving it. But if they aren't going to, I guess in a scenario where if they weren't replacing the road, we'd look at you know other options like lining the water main instead of digging it up and replacing it so that we didn't have all the restoration costs. So this is an agreement that we're going to have to do, but knowing that they're going to redo that part of the road, yep. the timeliness would be Correct. perfect. Okay. I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you, do you have something to add that's different, Susie? Well, I guess, I guess where I'm at is that for the last three, four years that Mr. Schultz and I'm talking about Mr. Keaton Schultz, 
has owned the park. He has promised and promised over and over again yep. that he mm -hmm. was going to do the road. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it, the lot rent alone on just the 60 trailers that are in there for four years, he brought in $1.1 million. And you mean to tell me that he didn't take one red cent of that and put it back into his park? Not even to fill potholes. I got that done through the DSPS on a state complaint against him. I mean, really, how many times is he going to keep promising and promising for all of us tenants that have to constantly go in and out and pay him all of this money for what? I mean, seriously. And I have been in front of this board and in front of Mr. Maloney for the last six months talking about this. And I have to say thank you to Travis because as I was coming home, I caught him coming down our dead end road, slipping and sliding, not knowing that he had already talked to my husband for about a half an hour. And our dead end road was never plowed. And Travis is trying to walk around. And I'll tell you what, Mr. Schultz came to my door with a five day eviction notice, put his finger in our face, and said, you are causing me a lot of problems with your emails to the village and your complaints to the state. Here's your five day eviction. And all I'm doing is trying to fight for a nice park to live in. I'm trying to fight for clean drinking water and to have our water being filled correctly. And now all of a sudden there's a meter pit put in. Real quick like, when we have a 60 year old asbestos sub laden pipe sitting there. Now with the infrastructure in that part, as Travis well knows, and I don't know if others know, that there's constantly water issues, water pipes breaking, water <laughs> pipes breaking here. How do we know that that pipe is not cracked and that us in the park is not drinking some unhealthy water, as well as that pipe that's sending that water to our neighbors off of Jelenic? I mean, nobody knows. And with the infrastructure that's going on there, I have a neighbor in front of me that's hooked up from electric to electric. And why? Because one neighbor had a problem with the pole. You know, I, 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 I've got to stop you on, so on the stories. I, I've just got to stop you on the stories. You know, because it it's... has got to stop. Yep. You guys yep. have got to make yep. him accountable mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. doing stuff. For Thank us. you. Thank you. Uh, I have yep. a question for Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Michael, is that... Uh, Pipe going to be cost sharing with the road part of it? No, the, the pipe is ours. That main the pipe is ours. So the main is the right. main. But you're going to excavate for that pipe. Correct. So you got to repave the area you are excavating. Th that's why I would like to have an agreement in place with the park beforehand so that we can guarantee that we, if, if we do end up having to repave the road, <coughs> we can charge them for that. It'll be cost sharing. Right. They have to pay their share. Either that or cost share. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you brought up the pit. Um, is the pit done? The pit's done. The pit is done. Okay. So that, and that was a safety issue to go yeah, down. Yeah, it was a confined pit. space for our water. Right, right. Okay. So that's done. That's, that's handled. I got another okay. question. Yep. So the back half of the trailer park, has he provided the timeline to either of you? No. I, I personally, I would like to see some sort of timeline on the back. I understand that he's got a, this area in green here, that's going to be repaved this summer. I want a timeline on the rest. Of it. I want it in writing as part of this. 2024. So that we can get it done. This, this, to me, this isn't sufficient. I would have to agree. Uh, we've got two or three years of promises on, on the entire road. And now I, I don't believe it's more than 40%. Travis, is it more than 40%? Um, you know, because the inside, the inside uh, lateral is not done at all. And it only goes maybe a third or so down the back, not or just in a corner. Can, can you make this bigger? The path to mount. <clears throat> I'd say that's at, at the most 40%, right? Yeah. And I mean, the other part of it is the biggest cost in this, or one of the biggest costs is going to be mobilizing the equipment and getting it there. Mm -hmm. So you're going to mobilize them twice and spend dollars twice mm -hmm. when you could do it all in one shot. I just, I don't understand the reason. Um, the, the 14, does he say there's 13 or 14 new trailers in there with there's pads? 14. 14. 14. Inhabited? No. 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 So they're not even done yet. No, they're still working on getting the electrical, the gas line. Is one of them done? No. Not one. No one is Are done. they close? 
Um, no, I think, yeah, the utilities are the big thing, the gas, because some of them don't even have meters. Mm -hmm. So they have to do the skirting and all that stuff, yeah. So when, when those were put in, what, a month ago, somewhere? Um, they started, the last ones came in last week. So, but beginning about a month ago or maybe six weeks ago, what would be a timeline on one of those getting up and running? I mean, if everything was there, they should be able to do it. And probably if all the services were there, probably within a week, two weeks, I would think. But I've never gone through that process yet of having them, you know, see what it takes to okay. go through the whole thing yet. All right. Well, you're going to work with uh, Attorney Yidi on uh, that agreement then? I am. That's got to happen then. They can't, they can't touch that road until we get that done. Right. Jen, do you need action from us if we want to see that road? I mean, I, how do you, how do we There should be coaches? some type of direction. I believe somebody is online for him, too. Someone's on live? I don't know. I told him he should be online. Yeah, I don't think so. I, I don't think so either. Well, they were, they were supposed to. The, the last time we touched on this was they had to fix the, the craters in the road and so that it was plowable and passable. Apparently, apparently that got done. Emergency services. It was done. Um, I remember on a Saturday morning. There was like a list of violations that we were going to. And there was some vandalism to the new trailers too? There was a little bit, yeah. Oh, a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit, yeah. Had the police been called on that? Right. You know, Jeff? Not that I know of. No? Okay. All right. I, I, I believe that we need to have the full part done. By 24. Yes, by the end of 24. Well, as, 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 as promised three years ago. On. Yeah. Is that a motion? 2024. Is that, is that a motion, Michael? Michael? Like, can you get your stuff done? Yeah. I coordinate can. that with them so that if they have a substantial completion by November 1, not not restoring the, the yard and do all that stuff. Mm -hmm. The grass isn't done, but we need asphalt there by November 1, 2024, in the entire park. Yeah. I mean, and our part is just that top. Right. portion so i mean if they had a contractor they could start on the back start side. they could start on the back side well yeah while well, that's being done and uh, is the office finished or it's still in process still in process uh to what degree um i last they went in for they called for inspections but they weren't ready for anything for a rough end yet so i don't know if anything has been done recently i wasn't in there for that inspection what did they call in for then we don't know we went, Roman and Scott went there and nothing was ready. So none of the, none I think they there. were just confused on what they needed an inspection for. Okay. Was someone there to meet Scott and Roman? I, uh, Sam. Well, Sam was there? Okay. Right. I'm talking to Sam. How far uh, along are they? I think they're still working on electrical and, and plumbing and heating and all that. In things. the office. Well, what about the um, exterior sign to the park? That, I don't think that hasn't been touched at all. Okay. Is there a permit out for it? No. Okay. Technically, that should be discontinued. You have yes. two years, I think. Yes. And then it has to be removed. Yeah, it's only um, two years. I'd like to see some kind of a goal set up, Travis, between you and the park manager. I, I think you did an excellent job. I mean, if, if we had 400, yeah, 418 violations and you're now at 316, you made 102 of them go away. That's fantastical. I mean, it's not fixed, but no. if you guys can come up with a, hey, we're going to fix 25 a month or something, get some kind of a plan moving forward. Um, the hard part is a lot of them are with egress as far as decks and stuff like that. And it's a little more difficult to do in the winter time for whatever. Well, what, why don't we press like um, stairs, you know? <laughs> could, we pray, we, could we prioritize them to ownership of the parks uh, responsibilities first? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Then move to ownership of the trailers. Yeah. Okay, so try try to quantify it two different yeah. ways, so that then they can get their stuff done, and then they can work with owners of the trailers second. And I briefly talked with Sam too last week about like which ones they're renting out because then they're responsible for fixing them. Units. So, so that's kind of the discussion we're having is okay. Well. Like, Jen, are you having any conversations with nineteen nineteen Schofield at all? Do you know what I'm talking about? Um. Not a whole lot. No, okay. Kristen has been. Yeah, I, I would have none. I none haven't had whatsoever. Any. Okay. Because it's brought up often with me in our conversations and I, I won't discuss it. Yeah. All right. Can I interject one quick yes. thing? When it comes to stuff, I know you're talking about egress. I mean, the fire department has no jurisdiction over a single family residence, so we can't do anything. 
but especially in a trailer home, I mean, if there is egress blocked, that is a little bit concerning no, for me. I mean, there's nothing like I said, not, there's nothing I can do about it, but it's not blocked, but it's it's. We it's usually the, don't have stairs out. I did see a couple of them when I was in there where the the like the rear patio or porches have heaved up, yeah. so they're not going to be able to get their back door open. I mean, yeah, there's a couple of more. There's, I mean, but like some of it. I would suggest a drive through there again. I, I do about once a month. Okay, good. But I would say, I mean, just again, I don't have any jurisdiction over it, but from a life safety issue, yes. Okay. We just talked Please. about it today because it. We don't have any snow, so maybe getting a jump start after we don't have any snow after the first of the year, okay. having them go through and kind of updating okay. it. Are you looking for action on the road specifically? Tonight? I would like something. Yeah. All right. I, I move to direct staff to advise Mr. Schultz that this plan is not sufficient and he needs to provide a plan to have the entire park repaved by the end of 24. Uh, November 1st uh, was his. November first. November first is good no. because the uh, American Hospital closed their plan yeah. by November fifteenth. You know, so by the end of November twenty-four. November twenty. Okay. Uh, so we have a motion on the floor by Cronin. Second. Second by Pimsonalt. Any more in discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, aye. Thank you. Opposed. So carried. Forty-one. Up update on municipal center punch list items. Who's got that? Travis. Oh, Thank you, Valerie. Yeah. I guess, uh, or Michael. Okay. We're in process on the repairing the, the drywall today um, by the elevator, by your office, anything else that needs to be fixed. Mm -hmm. They're taking care of that. Um, There's some overhead door issues that are should be addressed tomorrow um, out in the shop. So, There's um, usually a contractor or subcontractor from Myron. Still here almost weekly, um, taking care of some of these issues. The water thing going on when your butt goes by it. Your bathroom. <laughs> Unless it doesn't go on for anybody else's butt, but it goes on for my butt. So if I've got a big butt, that's so be it. But if somebody with a smaller butt than mine would go through there and check it out, I would appreciate it. Okay. All right, so that's handled. I, what is the actual, Michael, you mentioned on acceptance of the building, like we haven't physically accepted it yet. What does that look like? Because we're, we're we've, we've accepted the building, um, the, the structure. There are some of the exterior, um, I think I made that comment with the grass, um, as far as accepting that work. Um, you know, so the building was deemed substantially complete. So that's where the, the warranty period, I guess, um, comes into play. So that's what we're in right now is th these are, I guess technically warranty work items. Um, where it's are, are you question if you're questioning the punch list? The punch list is for this building, so we're just staying on the contractors, staying on all the little things that we see or or that still need to be addressed and fixed. So we're just staying on it like, um, like we should. So we're trying to make sure we get the community gets the, the most for their buck. So if that wasn't clear, so. Okay, so we're good to go on 41. Uh, do we need anything else? Do we need uh, any kind of approval on that? No, just an update, right? 42, discussion and or action on wage and compensation study from public administration associates for directors, deputy directors, and superintendents. Would you like a motion? Uh, no, I think I think this will go. Yeah. Have discussion? No, go ahead. I move to approve. Mm -hmm. The paid plan for 2023 as presented by public administration, association, and administrator. Okay. And administrator Giver, right? Correct. Yep. Okay. So we have a motion on the floor. Um I, I have a question. Um, um, are you approved? What item we have are a motion? We have I will second. second it. Second by Pimsonal. Now and on before on the you go, Steve, can I ask you to amend your motion? Because we're approving the wage and compensation study. Not the pay plan. That was my that's question correct. too. Yeah. yeah. You, you you said pay plan. Oh, he, well, he meant the, there's there's three different study. study. Yeah. He he meant forty two. He meant compensation right, study. Right. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. You didn't say that though. You're right. But that so we have to amend I, that. I assumed he meant that. Yeah. I move to amend your motion to approve the compensation study. Okay. Second. Second. Now on the discussion. Is there, there any? There was, there was, okay. Yeah, if there is none, then uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. 
43, discussion. Oh, that was the amendment. Oh, that's the amendment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now on the original. All right. Um, all the, uh, any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. 43, discussion and or action on job descriptions for accounts payable, payroll and human resource specialist and director of GIS and technology as recommended by public administration associates and Gibbert, right? Okay. I move to approve the job descriptions. By, by Cronin, second by Zagami. Any more on the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay. 44, discussion and or action on adoption of changes to 2023 pay grid slash pay plan as presented in the compensation reports by public administration associates for directors, deputy directors, and superintendents. Move to approve pay grid as presented with no immediate adjustments in compensation. By Pinsonal. Second. Second by Cronin. Any more in the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 So carried. Susan? Susan? Yep. Um, could you just, sorry. All right. Um, all those, uh, that's approved, right? Can, yes. I, I meant to give this to more people, but if you could give maybe some of this to Greg too, okay? The number is all the same if, if anybody has any questions or wants to call. Thank you. Um, help me out, people. Where am I? We're on 45. 45. 45. All right. This is awesome. We're going to approve the pay pen for 2024 at 3% as presented by the administrator. <clears throat> Discussion and or action on adoption of 2024 village pay plan. And now what'd you say? We're going to approve the pay plan for 2024 at 3% as presented by the administrator beginning on 1 January 2024. Motion by... Hardinger, second by Zagami. On the discussion. Yes. Do um, you want to amend that to add 1% being used for development of merit and performance pay? It's not a budget yeah, item, it's separate. just a pay plan. Oh, okay. Okay. This would be a broad stroke, 3%. Merit would be separate. Okay. okay. Very well. Any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? So carried. 46, discussion and or action on Kennedy Park Master Plan. This is what I've been waiting for. Come on, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, sorry for missing the November meeting. Um, and I know there were some questions brought up. That was one of the reasons that um, we took both master plans back to the park committee. Um, so we could discuss at that level again, just to answer some of the questions that were coming out of the board. Unfortunately, I mean, we have Jamie online. Uh, Barb's not here from the park committee tonight. Um, but if there's any questions that you have regarding either one of the plans, obviously I'll be ha happy to answer them if I can. Um, we know that uh, these both these plans are very integral in moving forward as far as, you know, if it's fundraising, grant writing, et cetera. Um, one thing I can touch on um, when, I, when we get to Prosca will be the discussion on the camping because that was one of the, one of the points that uh, people really wanted to delve into a little bit, um, but as far as the Kennedy Park Master Plan, that's on the floor for you guys. I guess. I, it, you know, um, actually, Jen, I think handled that in your absence um, that it needed to be in to be in the master, and and then if it's done or not, it's done. And you know, actually, now thinking again, I'm kind of back on again. So. Yeah, I might just go camping there just for the hell of it. You know. <laughs> I might just camp there without a campground. So, I'm sorry, go ahead. It's massive, but I'm continuously updating. Yep. yep. And we have a chance to change that anytime mm -hmm. we want. It. So, yep. I'll be approving it just starting at some place, then we can move on. Right? Yes, I agree. And, and Jen, you did a good job clarifying that for me. So, that was helpful. So, discussion and or action on Kennedy Park Master Plan. I'll move to approve the Kennedy Park Master Plan with no change and then. Wall park in phase with the fundraising. Motion uh, by Sagami. Second. Second by Cronin. Second. Um, Jamie okay. can have it. I think she had it. Uh, we're we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna give you the second. <laughs> she should have I appreciate that. Thank you. You got to pay attention. I heard. A, I heard a bunch of crashing there. So. Anyway. <laughs> you don't want. You don't want to know. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're not going to ask. So. Um, <laughs> on the discussion yes yes go ahead. Uh, so the phasing 
it seems like I added a lot of cost as far as mobilization, restoration, and kind of doing stuff multiple times. How can we do this to minimize it to do it in one phase or in two phases so that you're not doing this thing five times and you can save, we can save the taxpayers a pile of money. Like we need to do something. We need to, to update this thing and move along, but we shouldn't pay to do it four times. Well, I think the ultimate goal is to um, continue youth baseball, youth softball, school baseball. And if we completely tear down the park, that ends it for two years. So, yeah, so it'd be what? Year, it'd be two years, years to tear down? At least a year to build it and then a year yeah. for the grass to come up, you know, for it to establish itself. So you got at least a two year shutdown as far as those programs. So, I mean, you are eliminating some of that, obviously. Um, the idea with the phasing is, and it could be done in probably two phases, Perfect. because we know that um, number five and number four can be built currently without disturbing the current three fields there. Okay. So there's two fields that can be built with the way the current the park is currently. Perfect. Yeah. So it's a good question. And as I understand it, the reason they're separating it out is so that we don't lose the ability to have recreation on there completely in one year. Right. So people can still use the park while we're working on other sides of the park. Is that right, right, right. And that's and why we have multiple phases. But if you can do it in two and you wouldn't, right now there's how many fields there? Two? There's three. 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 Okay. Yeah. So you could run one year on the two, if we built four you can, you can You can run um, the two, there are two small fields, which would be the, you know, the nine through 12 year old program. Um, and then the big diamond number two, um, we figured could be built while well, the current big diamond is partially used. So we may be able to get that one in faster, um, you know, and turn it, turn it around to be usable. Um, and the other part is with the phasing is obviously the fundraising option. So we have prices for individual fields. So if say youth softball wants to go and fundraise for one field, they know the cost of that one field. How, how much of the, that's a good question or a good point though. How much of this is coming out of, um, I guess what, what we're contributing because you're talking about fundraising. Or, I mean, we don't know those costs as far as what the village portion would be at this point. I mean, so if we give them a goal or give them the cost estimate, they can fundraise for, you know, whatever, you know, they have a goal for a field, or we can discuss it with them as far as how we can cost share, et cetera. I thought most of this was coming out of ARPA. Um, there's no, nothing's been dictated as far as that. We have a cost estimate. Yeah, we've got $750,000 in mobilization costs. We, you know, playground oh, equipment, days. playground yeah, equipment is coming out of ARPA. ARPA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. ARPA's this is a long, yeah. but the whole yeah. field, so 14. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yep. To, to Jim's point, what if we invest some money out at Mac Miller and utilize the baseball diamonds that are out there already that are not being utilized, yeah. move everything out there yeah. and do this in one shot? Yeah. Is that an option shot? I mean, the money that we would save on mobilization would pay yeah. for yeah. Doing what we need to do out at Mock Miller to get those diamonds ready. Quite a bit. Obviously, you're not going to make Mock Miller as nice as this, but for the but year, whatever you got to do to make it an interim field for a year or two. And, you know, bringing some people out there too, it might actually maybe re spur some interest in that park. Um, it's used four nights a week right now yeah. for T ball on three fields. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. I mean, it is fully used for youth baseball right now. I mean, some, some nights uh, the fields are doubled up too. Oh, wow. So, I mean, is all that land utilized? So out there? Um, so there's four fields out there. There's three T-ball and then uh, one, you know, like nine to 12 year old field, which was used a little more readily up until a couple years ago. But the goal for youth baseball is obviously to try to get build a community. So they're trying to get most of the people at Kennedy Park. So you have one location. Um, their fundraising, their biggest portion of fundraising right now is concessions. Yeah. They don't have concessions at Kennedy or at Mock Dealer. They have concessions at Kennedy. <laughs> And they're doing, I think, around 600 a night is what I was told, I think, this last year, just in concession sales. Um, so they also brought uh, at least one night a week, T-Ball is playing at Kennedy now, but they're trying to build the community. So they're trying to get all the people together in one location because if you're at separate locations, you don't feel like you're part of the group. I stand corrected. I didn't realize those were being used that much. Yeah, I think 
Honestly. Yeah, if you're out there Monday through Thursday, um, you know, it's very busy. It's chaotic, actually. That's good, though. I'm glad to hear that. So busy. Yeah. <laughs> I guess one thing I know I'd point out to the park committee, too. So in the northwest corner, I mean, right now, that's currently a, our old park shop, um, old office, old warming house. 13, 14, and 15. Yeah. yeah. And we've got a well house over there too. So, um, you know, we're not going to have to move that well as part of this plan, though, right? No, the well will stay there. But I guess as part of the water utilities master plan, there was always the uh, desire to pump, you know, rebuild that well house and pump that water over to um, our well on Bladel. We have a treatment plant then on Bladel. Okay. So I guess that there is more than just, you know, park funds on, on this property. So you guys are a part of this too. Then. Yeah. So our water utility will have. So those buildings will stay there? No, we'll have oh, to, we'll I, have to demo ideal, them. And ideally you would be able to like one combined facility. Okay. Right. Um, so you have some storage, you know, you know, part of the well, um, you know, if it's shop space, whatever it is, um, a warming house for the rinks. So we have met with youth hockey has been to our meetings too as far as they would like to fundraise to add an additional rink to kennedy park so yeah so number 15 is kind of that hockey uh, structure okay but yeah so we would demo those buildings that are all there and reconfigure how that whole corner looks okay and, and some of the prices i understand you know we're not looking at 2023 $20, dollars because this is a long-term project. Yeah. If you if you budgeted it off of 2023 $20, dollars when they actually raise the money for that field and build it three years from now, it's going to be an additional five six hundred thousand dollars. Um, and also, if you look at like cost estimates on number thirteen or twenty two, that building, I mean, we talk about it. I mean, we just built a new well house and two wells for three million, and they have that building priced out at two point two million. We know they're using the, you know, the highest, yeah. most expensive construction materials to construct a 1,400 square foot building, I believe it is. Um, so we know that the numbers are, it's like building a building like this, you know, when you don't necessarily need that for a storage slash et cetera building. Also some of the um, construction costs, we have the ability to do some of the, um, you know, grading, material moving, you know, so we can cut down some of that common excavation costs. Um, so there are, there are stuff, there is stuff within that master plan that we can do that's, and there's a way to reduce costs. Too. That's the designer's estimate. That's not right. an actual quote that we've received, correct? Right, right, right. 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 Once you well, get in, they're going to naturally, well, they should go naturally on the higher side anyway. Right, right. And it is a it is a, a plan and we understand that things will change. This is not necessarily what will be built. Okay. So we have a we're still in discussion on a motion and a second on Kennedy Park Master Plan. Any more discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. 47 discussion and or action on Prohaska Park Master Camping Plan. <laughs> you approve the park master plan with no changes. By Pinsnell. Second. Second by Wyland. <laughs> Second by Wyland. Um, uh, any more on the discussion? Hearing none, I, all I, in, I have something. Uh, <laughs> you get to you get to discuss. Uh, you got your five. Are you voting? Well, I I just I would just want to mention one thing. So out of the previous park committee meeting, and also talking to another trustee, I actually have a meeting set up with the county on Thursday morning. Oh, good. Since they currently run three campgrounds. Mm -hmm. um, they would like to meet, discuss how they manage their campgrounds, how they take reservations, um, and possibly be put in a cost estimate for them to take over the management of the campground. Mm -hmm. Just because they currently do it, we don't do it. Um, and so I'm meeting with Jamie uh, Thursday morning. I like it. So Good. Thank you. Okay. Any more discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Jamie was saying second before you even stopped talking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. She's probably trying to get the first motion in. Thank you, Jamie. You're uh, welcome. There's a delay. I'm trying. Oh, okay. New business, 48. Uh, board president's appointments to tourism commission and other assignments. Um, I believe officially uh, we did not appoint Keith Malwitz 
from the Holiday Inn uh, to replace John. Favorite. 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 Yes. Uh, so uh, officially, we need to do that tonight. Um, I'm, and then uh, I will talk to you after the meeting on something else. So that I, I forgot to talk to you about before the meeting. Um, sorry. So uh, with that, uh, I would like to make that appointment of Keith Malwitz from the Holiday Inn to the Tourism Committee. And um, do I need a motion on that? Or do I just... The board has to approve. The board has yeah, to approve. Yep. Yeah. So I need a motion. I'll make the motion to accept the amendment to the appointments for commissions and committees. There you go. By Pinsonold. Second. Second by Zagami. Anything on any more in the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. So carried. 49, discussion and or action on clerk's appointments of election officials for the term ending December 31st, 2025. Motion, approved. Uh, motion to approve by Zagami. Second. Second by Cronin. Anything more in discussion? Did we get the notice that you were looking for from the Republicans? You did find it? Did, was I in error? Did I not give no. it to you? Oh. No. <clears throat> they sent it to our old office. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get nothing on that. Okay, yeah. I got I got. 65 from the demos, but she nothing printed from off our old page. She'll peak. Okay. Okay. So um, hearing no more discussion, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Jasper, am I going to have to move you over here? Okay. Uh, 50, discussion and or action on purchase and development agreement for redevelopment of property located at 5500 Schofield Avenue. Uh, A, resolution number 2023-026, a resolution approving a purchase and development agreement between the Village of Weston and g &S Investments, LLC, for the village-owned property at 5500 Schofield Ave. Motion to approve resolution 2023-026. Motion by Cronin. Second. Second by Hardinger. On the discussion. Yes. Go ahead, Jim. Um, there's some questions in here we got to talk about. Yes. So I would like just so that everyone is on the same page um, and for myself going forward on how to handle it. Um, so my first question is how does the board want review handled for development of this site? Do you want that to go to plan commission and to this board, just go to plan commission, be staff reviewed? Um, how do you want to handle it? Because typically when we sell property, it goes through at least plan commission. Does it need to come through plan commission if it meets ordinances and all the terms outlined? It does in the not agreement? unless you guys choose it. I, I would say if it meets the or the, the ordinances and any of the terms outlined in the development agreement, it can be staff approved. If it's something that needs to be discussed, then right. it and that's how the follow board the regular reads channels now. But sometimes the board likes to see things when it's especially like in the business park, things like that. So I wanted to make sure everyone was on the same page there. I would agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, more. Um, does that also apply to any project that the developer is not involved in? Because we do know that um, he is selling probably an acre um, of land. So is that for anything on the entire site or just developer? So he is selling that acre. So he is currently in talks to can we say to a restaurant yep. to sell a portion of that so wouldn't that then fall under staff to make sure that it that all could goes but i yeah. just want to make sure everyone's on the same page with I'm, that also. I'm fine with staff again. i'm fine yeah. yep um is the developer responsible to apply and pay for the first both or none of the rezoning hearing fees yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah. All of the permits, zoning, hearings, notices, all that stuff should be the responsibility of the developer. Okay. Would that be normal? Sure. Well, prior, at one point, I think you guys were talking about me rezoning the property, like that we were, but I think that's before. Well, we never got a plan to no. do Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If so I just want to make sure. Yeah. Good question. Because Good question. Yeah. they will be applying for a rezone for that yeah. restaurant site and then yeah. coming back in at a later date. So yeah. if they're Good. responsible, yeah. then I don't have to ask. The second one either mm -hmm. so okay that's all i wanted to know you're good to go any more discussion yes mm -hmm. um so i don't i'm not in support of this project now after i see it the more this unfolds the worse it gets for me um, i can't see that 
that acre is getting sold for less than 100,000. So essentially we're just giving this land away. Um, I don't know if you're here online, if you want to state what it sold for or what it is selling for, um, but I just, I don't feel like we're doing the due diligence and doing the, making that entire parcel the highest and best use. All we're getting is a building. Yes, you would get the restaurant site on the west side, um, but the building that's proposed is half the size of the current municipal building. You want to keep like four of the steel sheds or three of the steel sheds. Um, and so we're just going to get a trucking yard like we had. Yes, it would be a much more attractive building than what we have. But I, I would rather see the village sell that one acre to the restaurant and start over with a clean slate. If we knock the buildings down and find somebody else who would develop the entire site, not just a piece of it. I think that that would be a better. With the thought that we would get more money for it. And, and I know Hussein believes that, and you may believe that, but then would we still be able to attach a $3 million tax increment on it? Well, you would already have whatever the restaurant creates. So if the restaurant creates 800,000, now you don't need 3 million on the other. Which and, and which you, which we already agreed to, to somewhat sell, and then we didn't bring the restaurant to us, I don't believe. I think we're crossing some ethical. Yeah. I mean, we're going to take over the bulge to us that that was going to happen. We're going to take over a restaurant that we didn't bring to the table. Yeah. Could have taken the deal in June, though, too. Very true. And continue and we, to try and In my mind, we've kind of already agreed we've to already, this. Yeah. And now tonight we're saying yes to the agreement. Um, it's already been approved by the board to sell this. So, well, you know, I've, I've had some discussions during finance. I had a, I, I kind of divulged that I had some developers call me. And question the sale, and, and I told them flat out what what the whole deal was, and the three million dollar increment, and the three million increment knocks it out for a lot of different people, and they go, oh, we didn't know that. So if they sold their property at down the street for whatever, they would not have a three million dollar increment on there for ten years that that this new person would be liable for. I'm sorry, what? I just want to Am clarify this wrong? three million thing. We're really set on the three million. We do not get. Just because he puts three million on, that doesn't mean that's how much more levy we get. By the way, oh no, it's it's our twenty nine percent. We only um, get yeah. the net new construction, yep. so three million of new building is not a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So I know. Um, but is it is it just is it more than this property when it was uh, eight hundred thousand dollars assessed? This property right here. Is we what we kind of gauged it on seventeen thousand dollars in taxes when we took this property off the market. This was paying seventeen. We paid seventeen thousand dollars in taxes when we took this property off the market. Okay. So and this was assessed at eight hundred thousand. Yeah, but it's not apples to apples. You're okay. not just gonna all of a sudden get another seventeen thousand dollars of tax money because you're replacing it it's the levy limits it's net new construction so if we get a three million dollar new building and nothing else was built in this municipal in this village we wouldn't get a tax increase we'd get no more levy money three million dollars is material to our billion dollar value of the village so it's just putting it in perspective i know we talk about it and a three million dollar property is great for the village but when we're talking about taxes and income and replacing lost taxes, it doesn't work that way just because of the levy limits for the state of Wisconsin. So okay. I just want to clarify it. Yep. So so Kirsten Fish, when she gave I us that example, was wrong completely off It base. doesn't take into account levy limits. Mm -hmm. But when you're talking about that property and, and having a Three million dollars of the increment on that property versus oh. this property at eight hundred thousand. I, I know in the scheme of the, in, in the scheme of the village and, and all the other you know state tax and stuff, but just these two properties, it it's completely yeah, it just, different. It doesn't. Yeah. The benefits just not there. You can't just look at two properties. One's gone. One's coming. It just doesn't work that way with the the way the state controls our revenue. I, I'm fine with your discussion. So, I just, no, I no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just going to take this down the road a little bit more. So we sell that for eight hundred thousand dollars, seven hundred thousand. Let's say we take seven hundred thousand. Whether we got to take the buildings down or not, 
And that is a more apples to apples to this property here, or still not apples to apples. When we're talking and now we, we won't decide, we don't get to tell them what to put on there on that property. For the revenue side, from my side, it's, it's not a big difference. It's not as large of impact to the village taxpayers as we like to think. We've wasted an awful lot of time here. If this is where we are, that's all I got to say. I think the other thing is they going to refurbish building in the back and also sell the building material from there. Uh, why they don't sell the building material at the existing site? That wasn't part of the plan at all. The first time we actually got exhibit C or D was Wednesday when the packet rolled out. And if you look at the date on exhibit C or D, it's dated November 29th, which is after our last meeting. I've been asking for all of the exhibits from day one and I've never gotten all of the exhibits. So was that held by the developer? It was just drafted on the 29th. We, just, didn't exist. we just got it. Okay, we just got it. Okay. When he when he sent in mm -hmm. the signed agreement is when Matt got the document. Well, let's just run this through once. So right now we have a, um, a motion and a second. We're on discussion, right? Yes. All right, you want to call the question? So I already, well, I already made it. So see where it goes. Question for the roll call vote. Yeah. Roll call vote. All right. Milani? Um, so yes is for the motion. Yes is for approving the project. Yes. Zagami? No. <clears throat> Cronin? Yes. Hardinger? Yes. Pensano? No. Wyland? No. Uh, it Three fails. Guys, it fails. So motion fails on a tied vote. Okay. Um, where are we now? Bring, bring what to the next meeting? Bring what? What? What's going to happen? What's going to? What's going to? Uh, the three no's are not going to change. If Barb was here, it would be a no. It's a no. It's a. It's a complete no. So I would. Um, I'm gonna. Tell you right I'm now, gonna. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm gonna put this on the no votes that you need to bring this back and you need to sell this property. That's all I got to say. You, if you've got another way of doing this and a better, clearer way of doing this, or buy it yourselves and develop it, I'm putting it on the no votes. So that's where we are. Moving on to 51, discussion and or action on drafting a resolution in opposition of AB 685, local regulation of fault. What's your um, pleasure? And this is against the state. Oh, uh, yeah, this is all chicken thing. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we had talked about this at Plan Commission. I think it came up here when we were drafting the chicken ordinance. At that point, they did not have a, like a, someone to join on to the, the bill. Mm -hmm. um, now they do. Um, mm -hmm. And Trustee Cronin asked to bring this here to see if the board would like us to put together a resolution that could be sent to the state. In opposition, I'm guessing. <laughs> so um, for me, I would request that if it's just fully op in opposition or if it's pieces of it, just so that I know what to put in the resolution. Well, essentially, correct me if I'm wrong, but it it's it's going to make the ordinance that we just created basically a mute point. I mean, anybody there, there. I don't think there's going to be restrictions on square footage. Am I yeah, wrong? So some of the things you can still. So this is what you can still do. You can still require a permit. They haven't fleshed it all out either, so we don't really know. The one thing that did catch my eye on it is that it's going to allow some other things that we currently don't. Goats? Um, not goats yet, <laughs> um, but like the I'm geese, quail, giddy fowl. Um, we actually looked those up and they're really loud. Um, what goats are? The guinea fowl. Oh, the guinea fowl. They like screech or something. Yeah, they do. They screech. Yeah, they do. 
Yeah, it's I, like I, a little I, bird. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, they're very light. But um, so this is just starting, but just the fact that it came that fast, um, they could probably have something. Mm -hmm. And then we would have to adjust our ordinance based off of what they come up with. So, yeah. still, so can we, is this more of a it's wait still and developing, see? But well, I would, why would we vote on this if it's still developing? We would ask he just wanted to send like oh, a resolution in opposition. Oh, yeah, just what? a letter of opposition that, hey, we don't. You know, I mean, you can yeah. always do it later on, too, when it actually goes. They typically go to like a public hearing. Type okay. of Sometimes. Um, yeah, I would I would specifically be opposed to the fact that we now have to allow one, two, three, four, five other animals that weren't in our ordinance. Um, I don't see anything in there about square footage. I, I mean, me personally, I would just say that we oppose the bill as drafted and you could lay out the reasons, a lot of the discussion that we've had as to what the pain points were. Yeah, and I'm not sure what they consider residential to be. Yeah. So that's something that I would watch for because, you know, it's so not open up to duplexes and family. <coughs> so, yeah. so they're not clarifying what the residential is. Part, well, it doesn't really say there, it just says yeah. residential use. I mean, generally, I'm just not a fan of people in Madison telling us what we should be doing with our property. I think it's zoned should... for residential use, so that could be some commercial properties too. Mm -hmm. Probably should zoned change the term of residential to hobby farm. I think that'd be a bit <laughs> yeah, more. Well, it could. I mean, so, basically. Yeah. So you're just looking for. Uh, um, he just wanted it brought up here. Yeah. You, so want do, to do you want to draft, draft a resolution? You want to do more of a wait and see yeah. to see where this ends up, up, or what? What? Yes, we just made a motion. I get a second. Oh, what was the oh, motion? Okay. A, a motion to that yeah, motion to uh, direct staff to draft a resolution in opposition to AP by Hardinger, uh, second by Pinsonal. Any more in discussion? And that'll come back here before we send it off. Correct? I can do that in January if you want. Okay. okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. I waited for that stall when she said it. Uh, 52 discussion and or action on speed limit increase for Weston Avenue. Um, I had this put on here um, pr prior to, the, um, to Weston Avenue. It, it's a gorgeous road, a little hump in the middle, but that'll be taken care of in spring. Anyway, um, uh, but it was 45 miles an hour. Now it's 35 mile an hour. There's, I mean, what, 100 feet of kill zone on each side of this thing. This thing, you could do 85 on this thing, no problem. But, they will um, do what they do, and they will. Yeah, <laughs> but I, uh, the I had quite a few residents call and say, you know, why would we make this road safer, bigger, and everything else, uh, and then take the speed down? And I talked to Michael about it. They designed it for uh, forty, Correct. and that's why it's thirty-five. But we can take it up to forty-five, and uh, I think in years to come, when there's more additions and a lot more traffic out there, just like Schofield Avenue is now, we'll, we'll, we will be taking it down to thirty-five. I did tell the residents that. Um, and uh, I think that's where we'll go in years to come. So, so that I, that's why I had it on here to put it back to, to put it back to forty five. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Is it designed for forty miles an hour? It's it was designed for forty. I mean, the difference was some of the clear zone, but I, you know, if you look at the existing <laughs> spots, um, you know, I think the, buying liability. The, the 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 village board has the authority to raise it within um, ten miles per hour. Right, but at the same time, we buy liability. If we have liability at 45 mile an hour on Weston Avenue on that portion, uh, then we have liability on Schofield Avenue all the way. Because uh, at 35 mile an hour, there's just no way. In fact, it goes to 40 out by Quick Trip. Yeah. And my, my all the different uh, uh, crossings and snow, I mean, all the different things, I believe we have no liability out there. And it's 45 all the way to Camp Phillips now. Right. Correct. Yeah. All right. So right now, is it 35 or 45 from Ryan to Camp Phillips? That's 45 still. So that, that was left at 45. That is uh, a, I don't have a problem. I know, but that I is. I want to make sure we don't yeah. buy that. No. Yeah. Yeah. They're DOT it's design it's guidelines. Just, it's just DOT. It is an accident. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the guy driving, say, 45 and said the road was designed for 40. How, how we defend that? Oh no, he's back there. He'll take care of it. But but yeah, he maybe. said <laughs> but he said yeah, you take your notes. <laughs> but he said that we can move it ten miles. He said we can. This is I'm sorry. Clarification. Designer. For at forty five. So so the DOT has a design guide when you're building a road. Um, 
who designed it and surveyed it. And, and, and comp, yeah. So, so, so it says like a clear zone at a 45 mile an hour road should have a clear zone of say 18 feet. If you go up to 45, that maybe needs to be 20 feet. Okay. So, so a lot of the cases, it's a extra two to four feet. Um, you know, the, which we might have cleared anyway. In the, in the process. Correct. I, I guess in looking at this section of Western Avenue, I didn't see a section that necessarily was below what um, a 45 mile an hour roadway would need to be. And, and I mean, Ryan, so they had to, to survey. And Ryan yeah. DeCamp Phillips, you know, yeah. is is not clear cut at all, and it's still 45. Yeah, yeah. there's but, plenty of other places so, in the village where it's. Um, I'm looking for a motion. Yeah. A motion to move the speed limit to 45 miles. By hour. Cronin, second. Yeah. Second by Pinsonal. Any more in discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. So carried. 53. Discussion and or action on Fuller Street and Schofield Avenue intersection control evaluation ice results. Ice results. We're talking ice. Is this federal? No, I mean, ice. Oh, ice. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's read it again. Discussion and or action on Fuller Street and Schofield Avenue intersection control evaluation ice results. This is what we talked about. Move to approve alternate number three. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta be five or two. Yeah, those are the two. Well, yeah. to get the motion on the floor, I'll second it. Uh, so, motion by Vincent? Yes. Second by Cronin. Now it's on the floor. Well, uh, Mr. President, we're yeah, three. Yeah, go ahead. Midi approved. Oh. And our reason was. Uh, no, they approved two. That's what the recommendation was. No, no the, the no. engineer. Who did the study recommended two? I guess that was the staff recommendation was to also go with two. Um, the Public Works Committee recommended five of the realignment with the roundabout. Um, I, I guess alternate three would realign the road and put stop control at Fuller and Old Costa as it is. Um, based on the traffic analysis, that would actually de that would decrease the current level of service of those roads. It would make turning left on the school field have harder um, with the realignment. So, so have a motion on the floor. Motion on the floor by Vincent Alt and Cronin to get it on the floor. And um, for alternate three. Uh, for alternate the three, Cronin is saying two. And no. Hussein is saying five. No, I'm, I'm with, I'm on board with three. Oh, I three. seconded three. Yeah. Okay, three. But yeah. the packet says two. Mm -hmm. well, that's the recommendation. Packet is five. And two or five. Recommendation. That's recommendation is to move forward with alternative two. two. I, I was at the committee. I was around the meeting. Yeah. And we discussed on this issue. Yep. The board recommended we do alternative yeah, five. Committee action says five. And our reason was, if we don't do it today. Committee action says five, but the recommendation says two. Yeah. Excuse me. Can I? Finish my talk. Okay, go ahead. If we do it alternative two, eventually we have to upgrade. Yeah. And we're spending extra money on it. Exactly. That was our reason. And the other reason was it definitely improved the safety. So, but three is what you're talking about right now. Or two. That's three, what they're two. talking about. Three. So three brings the road in behind that uh, brick home. Mm -hmm. Um, right to Costa, you know, so there's an equal four lane intersection mm -hmm. controlled by four way stop, uh, lights, uh, two way stop, two way stop. Okay. So there's, there's no impediment, impediment. Yeah, impediment. Okay. okay. There's no impediment on Schofield Ave. It already sets the stage for additional development so that if that subdivision goes into the south, when the one that's planned or two that are right, right. The north, but that's, but that's all 90 degree. All nine of the green corners right there then, right? Where's three, Correct. Michael? Yep. Okay. Well, three would be a, a version of this it without the roundabout with stop signs. With stop what? signs, not a roundabout? Correct. Correct. Yep. That yeah. would be three. I would, the land would already be there. You could make it a, a controlled intersection with stop lights. Or if you really wanted the roundabout, um, the, the low road would already be realigned. Well, one well, of the reasons here is what the engineer has done. He went there with his pickup truck or his vehicle sit on there and time the intersection. Yeah. You go there and sit there with your pickup truck and the trailer behind it and see how long it's gonna take for you to turn. Uh, you At mean three like o'clock in the afternoon. Like a fifth wheel? You mean a fifth wheel trailer? Or so, four wheel trailer. So, uh, I, so how would it take the longer? Thing is, at three o'clock, the school is out. Yeah. The sure. traffic is crazy. You can't even turn there. I, 
I actually go east uh, coming down uh, Fuller and uh, with uh, 42 feet behind my truck and I'm never missed it yet. And that's a, that's a hard turn to the left. So if, if it's, if it's a 90 degree, it's even going to be better. I, I'm going to vote for no roundabout. No roundabout. That's where I am. And I, I'll just another, another reason that we went with the roundabout was mostly to slow traffic coming through there and give yep. traffic okay. from Fuller an opportunity to integrate. Uh, how much more is the roundabout? Two million? They estimate about 1.8 to 2 million. 1.8 1. 8 to 2 million. I'm definitely not for the roundabout. Mm -hmm. So where are we? Well, we have a motion on the floor for alternative three. For alternative three, that's no roundabout? It's no roundabout. Okay. Maybe so real any more on the discussion? Line intersection. Hearing none, all those in favor of a three, no roundabout, say aye. 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 No and no. So we have a four to two approval of number three. Correct? All right. So be it. Uh, there goes the ICE results. 54, discussion and or action on business 51, um, State Highway 29 storm water pond grant submittal contract. Move to approve the contract to Strand for $8,800. Move uh, motion by Pinsonel, second by Hardinger. Any more in the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. So carried. 55, discussion and or action on installation of additional street lights, A, Wesson Avenue and County Road J. And B, Schofield Avenue between Hunt Street and Zinzer Street. Move to approve. Move to approve by Hardinger. Second. Second by Zagami. On the discussion, can these not be blue? Yeah. What, what is going on with the blue? Are we testing the blue ones? The blue lights are bad LED drivers. So. Wait, 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 wait. That's not. Those aren't real. Those are. It's a bad driver. Bad. Yeah. So the one by the waste on Fuller, that's a bad light, and it's been a bad light for three months. Okay. So is that can something we, that they're going to fix? Can we get like a social media post out about that so that we can have our residents tell us? I've been telling people sure. that oh, it's the new light. They that's just what said I thought. They just said to, there's two. Be I'm being honest. That's what I, I, I'm going by and I've stopped under them. I look at them. I stare at them. I can't see crap in them. And I call, okay, Mark, you're 64 years old. You're not supposed to see in a blue light. There's that's a why. news story. Yeah. Yeah. I can play right now. There's one on Sandy. It was a too. news story. Yes. About Sandy it. has one. Bad. Okay. If you have an, as an exact intersection, otherwise the poles have a number on them, or I can drive around at night too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. Yeah, you can. I, there's one on Schofield Ave right by Bricks as well that okay. I noticed the other night. All right. Well, I, if we just let somebody know, I think we'll get it to the right person. Yeah. Service has to know, right? yeah, yeah. We, we, and then we let public service know. Those so are WPS did we ones. just do a yes on this? Did we make it go away? Oh, no, I, I was discussing. All yeah. those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. 56, discussion and or action authorizing for utility vehicle purchase. It's for you, Travis? No. You're getting a utility vehicle? These are water and sewer um, vehicles. Uh, over the last few years, we've been trying to get replacement vans, and it uh, seems like every time we ordered, they got put on hold. No, no wait a minute, no. Uh, Josh, thank you. Would, would our hovercraft work for this? <laughs> no. Okay. We have a used hovercraft for sale. So I'm just saying, I'm talking a lot of fun. A lot of fun. If you're going to have a pond in one of these parks, Sean, this could be a huge money driver. So. Can, I, can I ask what type, what type of vehicle we're looking to replace these with? They are um, like transit vans. Like the, I guess you'd see like PGA, you know, the plumber. Sure, yeah. the taller. Okay. It's a sprinter van. It's a sprinter yeah, van. Like a well, no, it's not. It's a sprinter. Oh, well, that's a Mercedes product line and it costs way more. No, than no, 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 no. It's a Ford Transit. Yeah. Uh, Those are ide almost identical except with the same, same only different. Yeah, I know. Yeah. The Fords are pretty good. I, yeah. I mean, I so are you looking at pickup trucks yeah. now because you can't get those? So, well, we're looking at either option. Um, the, the windows of these orders are pretty tight. You know, essentially you talk to a dealer and they say next week, Tuesday, we'll be taking orders and we'll yeah, take orders through Friday for four hours or and then yeah. it's, it's how closed. soon do you need this well one of the vans is was meant to go down the road um two years ago because yeah. there's going to be in a couple of years we're going to have a whole bunch of gray sprinter vans mercedes yeah. that might be for sale out on jay and uh Ooh. i don't know how they get rid of them Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> gonna repaint them? yeah a little bit of miles, but you know, it might be fine for our stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, so can you hold out? Yeah. No, you can't hold. So why are you only looking at the transit van? 
We I got like Chevy Express because it costs ten thousand dollars less. And, and there's a Dodge out there too. There's a Ram. Yeah, the Dodge. There's a Dodge out there. Too. I, I guess that that's what we were well, looking GMC Savannah, at. The GMC Savannah actually is the one that some of the staff would prefer, but we can't get those. They're in stock in Northern Illinois. Okay. Ninety-seven of them. All right. Well, I just know the ones we had ordered with uh, Menke previously. I'm up for a road showed up. If anybody's going on a road trip, I'm, I'm on. I'm in. So we'll take the hovercraft. Let's go. All right. All right. So uh, uh, we have a motion and a second. No, I don't think we have a motion. Let's get a motion. Yeah. How about yeah. a, let's get a motion. Let's move on. So I move to approve the purchase of two vehicles, but I would like to see them uh, for transit. I would like to look at the General Motors option because it's ten thousand dollars less. And, and staff, and that's what staff lights. prefers. That okay. That's a motion by Pinsnell, second by second by Zagami. Second. By Sagami. Any more in the discussion? Yes. Do we, I, I, I guess to clarify this, staff does not have to come back here when you find that window and you get it, just order and do it done. So, I mean, so budget. I guess I'm just looking for a budget. I, I guess when we start saying it has to be a certain brand or it can't be a brand, it can so get it. Not to exceed 60,000 each. Is that budget still good or are we going to? Yeah. That's high. That's, that's what, what I thought too. That's high. Because don't, don't we get a municipal yeah. discount? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. No, you're right. Brands are ten thousand dollars a month. Yeah. So the pickup okay. truck we got last year was about fifty-five thousand. So I guess I was just Jesus. adding yeah. a little bit to you okay. know, a thousand the utility box and you know making sure that you know, I mean the guys' tools and everything are they have them handy, you know, they're the so the vehicles they need at 2 a.m. when stuff isn't working the way it should. So. okay. Any more in discussion? Okay. Yes. I guess just to clarify the I guess what I heard in the motion though was 60. that it had to be or not to look at a Ford Transit. Well, that, no, I would. Like the, the motion was to approve two the purchase of two vehicles not to exceed sixty thousand dollars each. With no coming back to the board, you can just okay. buy the thing whenever you get the window. Okay. My personal recommendation was sure. to look at a General Motors product line because it's ten thousand dollars less, and your staff want that anyway. Yeah, we do have some, I mean, one of the vans we currently, so the two that we're looking to get rid of, one's a Ford Transit, one's a GMC Savannah. So um, we do okay. look at all product lines. Are going on the auction then? We would auction them then. So these, these are these are like uh, PGA vans? Yeah, I mean, they're, you know. What is that van? Full size van. Yeah, PGA yeah. runs uh, the Dodge product line. Yeah, I thought the Dodge and the Mercedes. The Ram Promaster. Yeah. yeah. Ram and I think they have some sprinters, yeah. All right. Clear? Okay. Yep, no, clear. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. 57, discussion and or action on allowing ATV UTVs on Alderson Street from Weston Avenue to Shorey Avenue. This is just a cleanup. I think we might have missed something or I didn't have one of the three roads that we had kind of up or thought we approved. And um, because of our action, um, Rothschild is moving forward with everything south of 29, yeah. right? And because of this, so I think we're this is just a cleanup, right? Jeff? Motion to approve. Motion to okay. approve by Cronin, second by Pinsnell. To all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, so carried. 58 discussion and or action on 23 budget amendments transfer surplus to capital funds. Motion to approve the recommended 2023 budget amended as presented and transferring surplus funds to the general fund in the general fund to the capital improvement fund. By Pinsnell. Second. second by Zagami. Any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Uh, 59, discussion and or action on request for proposals, RFP Village Attorney Services. I think we got three of them, right? Yeah, four. Four, 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 four now? Yep, yep. Three new firms. Well, pretty much the same. Yep. A move we stay with the existing attorney. I will second that. A uh, motion by Zagami, uh, second by Maloney. Any more on the discussion? Only two of them actually have firms in town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just to make it clear, we're talking about the same or current or ED and associates. Would, yes. would, that, would, yes. you, would we then need to just reject? Reject these? No. No. Or no. We just accept one. Just okay. accept one. Yep. No difference. So we have a motion and a second. Any more in discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. So carried. 
All right, thank you all. Uh, 60, discussion and interaction for temporary easement with ANR Pipeline Company for additional temporary workspace and or staging area on part of parcel number 192-2808-204-0954. This item can get postponed till the next meeting. Why is that? Because are we not ready for deliverance? We are not. Or delivery? <laughs> Our deliverable did not arrive back from ANR. We want to make sure that they deliver. Oh my God. What, what what is your thing called that the dirigible? What is that 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 hovercraft? Is it a dirigible? Dirigible? No, I, no. I'm just <laughs> seriously. I'm just I'm a little frightened. No idea. Sorry. Means. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So would so you rather have it deferred? Yes. Yes. Okay. I will make a motion to defer item sixty to the January Board of Trustees meeting. Right. Per administrator's request. Per administrator's request. Second by. Second by. Power Second by. Um, second. Is that what you're looking for? Wyland. Second by Wyland. <laughs> Anything else on discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 So carried. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, Thank attorney, you. Yep. attorney referrals. Uh, that's a place marker on the agenda. Uh, staff referrals. Yes. Jim? I'm sorry. You said something, so I think you did. Yeah. Um, so I said, Jim. I would like to refer the inspecting inspection team and planning development to follow up on the old cast of glass thing and see what we're going to do to test for noise and noise vibration and harshness. Uh, I will, um, um, since it's going to be 40 degrees or 45 degrees for Christmas, I'm going to leave my window open in our bedroom to see if I can, until I can take it. And then uh, I'll let you know some timestamps that I hear, or timestamps, <laughs> so just some times. Just, so, uh, a that's 52 um, cents. Or, that's 52 or, cents of power. Yes. I got it in my pocket. I'm, I'm sorry, Greg, go ahead. What? I just did inject some comment. I'm mm -hmm. about 400 feet from the fence. Oh, you're that close? Yeah. And, okay. Uh, Alan was back here. He's a duplex on the corner of Farzal. Yep. He's substantially closer. But you're on Scott Street. Okay, yeah. so I'm, I'm on the north side. You're on the south side. And I can hear it as venting the steam thing like yeah, it's right that. outside. Okay. 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 I'm going to. Yep. Okay. Just so your sanity goes yep. away. And Travis, yeah. Travis you, you're okay with this? You're on this? You're taking the lead on this. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Travis. Uh, staff referrals. Any more, Jim? That was it. Uh, any staff referrals, Mr. Hardinger? No, oh, sir. Mr. Croner? Where, what, what needs to happen here with, with uh, 5,500? Yeah. Not my problem. I'm just asking, where, where are we at with that? Step one, put it up for sale again. I Is that where we're at? Well, you turned down the agreement, so there's no agreement. So he's not gonna be able to sell the land. Um, it, I don't know. But there is an interesting party well, in that I'll have parcel. to talk to, to Jamie <laughs> tomorrow more and the you know, So So there's a little bit more to this whole thing. So he actually, uh, feeling a little uh, bad uh, for was Zaska, Tammy? Yeah, Tammy. He, he then brought her into the picture as because he wanted her to represent him if he sold anything so that she would get commission for the work she did the real that she didn't get paid the for the real time. Right. So there's there's a little bit of there too. So yeah, I, I'm out of this. I'm out, I'm completely out, and I feel I'm and I feel yeah. totally fine with this. I got my win last week, so I'm I'm totally fine, and I'm fine yeah. with all of you. I, this this is how it's supposed to work. Well, you better be fine. With this. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So I guess some I, I don't have to better be fine. The board would be good. I am fine. We're supposed to. I can handle this. No sale. problem. Don't feel bad for no, me. No, Just, no, no, no I'm, I'm done. I'm account. done. I'm done. I'm not talking I'm, about that. I am done. We're on. We're on remarks. Well, staff referrals. So any staff referrals? You you had a question. Well, I did, but Jen, what were you? You were asked. You what did you say? Well, mm -hmm. I guess some guidance from what what yeah. you guys want us to do. Do we want to go back and? Renegotiate I think with I, Mr. Gurnt and see if he has a different offer for you. I, Open it up again. Talk to Tammy as the realtor. I mean, this is things that we can. I think, I think we should wait too. until Green Hat get open. What? Say again. Green Hat? The, 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 Turner building. I think that's a game changer in the in our community. And uh, also, 
We have other facilities are building around the, around this community. These are all going to make a change here. And I'm sure some other people may look at, at, at this piece of land. Would anyone here be opposed to contacting Tammy and start a conversation between the restaurant and see where that's at? If we can move I am, piece of it forward. I, that crosses an ethical line for me. That bothers me. That that we have a developer that came in and did not need to divulge that information. And now we feel that we're entitled to that money because he's told us that. That 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 bothers me. And I have no problem saying that on record right now. Yeah. And they'll probably go somewhere else. If there's issues with the current uh, offer to purchase and it's the buildings in the back or whatever, but I mean if there's if there's conditions that we think he's gonna make more money from certain pieces, you know, and I, I know Jessica said her piece and, and I'm I'm troubled now by that because I, I, I don't know finance like she does and I don't you know, so I kind of, I kind of feel decision, but I, yeah, I know like that you kept bringing, that but up. I agree with you. I mean, it, it actually doesn't matter what you say. I agree with you all the time. So if, if it's something on finance, I am rock solid with you, not with everybody else, but with you, I am. And it was a little bit of humor. So, um, and, and so I am, so I don't really know how to think of that anymore. And, um, cause I know we were selling it cheap. Yes. He had to tear it down. That's what we want. Um, I get who Shane, because you mentioned some other things that could go there that kind of go up in the air. And, and I know, you know, do we have the time to wait? Yeah, we probably do. We probably do have the time. You know, we got a bowling alley right next to it. We probably do. The, the sense of urgency was to get it back in the tax roll because I heard it from several loud uh, residents. You know what? Maybe the timing isn't right with the interest rates and everything. So, yeah. And this board should be at odds sometimes. Well, not at odds, just not agree. So that's my two cents. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> no, but anyway, Merry so, yeah, yeah, we're not quite done yet. Just hold on, it was a joke. Uh, that's fine. I've been here for six hours. It's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. So, anything more on you? No. Nope. Merry, uh, Merry Christmas. Where do we go? I mean, where do we go? I'm yeah. sorry that I was late. It's yeah. Well, it's your time. family. You don't ever apologize for family. You never apologize for your daughter or family. Um, who's saying any remarks? No, thank you. Okay. Um, uh, I, I get along with absolutely everybody here, and I actually like it, and I smile, and sometimes we don't vote the same. And uh, I feel just in, I, I feel about all of us. I think we have a great board and uh, great staff and a uh, great attorney that's staying with us. Thanks for staying, by the way, Matt. And uh, uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. And uh, enjoy your week. Enjoy your holidays. Listen to some good music, eat some good food, and enjoy your families. So, uh, trustee remarks? Am I not done? Oh, trustee, trustee remarks. That, that was staff remarks. Oh, that was staff remarks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think I, think has some trust. You, you I got a whole bunch more to say. I got a whole bunch more to say. Go ahead, Jim. I got a whole bunch more to say. So, go ahead, Jim. Go ahead, Jim. The handicap signs out front look really good. Yeah, they do. That was done yep. in house or not. They do. But thank you. Where's the bollards do not. So, I don't know what the timeline on that. So, the Decorative ones. Uh, I deco surely hope that that's not your idea of decorative. No, no, no. Some rusty birds down no, those, so. those are the embedded ones that need to be there as far as the uh, requirement. Safety. Uh, for safety. So they have to sure. be embedded at a certain depth and they have to be 52 inches apart on center. Can we uh, so put we, a plastic sleeve on them so they look sexy? Well, we, we ordered concrete decorative uh, colors that go over the top, moss tile. What color? What's that? What color? Uh, sand. Wow. Okay. Um, wow. I can't believe it. That would be the first Ballard's, a safety Ballard, to not slam into a front of a building that is a sand color. <laughs> we might get sued when they try to go through our front doors with a vehicle because they couldn't see the Ballard. I thought it'd be yellow or orange or red. So, whatever. Sand. Interesting. Well, they have W's on them? They don't. Oh, uh, come on now. Enough of that. So, so they're 54 inches high, um, 18 inches around. Uh, production time was total from start to finish with production drawings was eight weeks. Once we authorized production, it was five weeks. We should see them within the next one to two weeks. Sand. Sand. That's awesome. Right. If you yeah. saw yellow, I'd hear that too, probably. <laughs> I'm good to go. Last thing I have is uh, the PD agreement 
um, amendment. We're working on amending that agreement some um, with the village attorney. Mm -hmm. um, that'll come back to the board at some point for uh, an approval or for a recommendation for approval. Just to update it to, well, it'll be to 2024 standards uh, when it comes back. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll remember. Any remarks? No. Remarks? No. Okay. Um, there is a EMPD uh, commission meeting this Thursday morning, I understand, to, to see how that's all going to shake out. Um, uh, there's actually quite a few meetings coming up right now with some uh, uh, police stuff. And that'll be good. You've all seen the news. You know that our chief has retired uh, as the 1st of February. Um, and um, that's there. There you go. Uh, Merry Christmas. Future items. Uh, next meeting date, January 15, 2024 at 6 p.m. And I think a 4.15 start for tourism and finance. That yes. Nice. Yep. Okay. And always happy holidays, everybody. Enjoy. So looking for a motion to adjourn? Yes, please. Yes, please. By Cronin. Second, Second. by Hardinger. What? Excuse me? Second. Okay. We'll give it to Highland. Wyland, excuse me. And uh, motion to adjourn. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Eight o'clock. We are adjourned. Thank you.